Oh, hi guys. So I set up my bird box around about a year ago. I... did it because I spend quite a lot of time in my room, especially with the lockdown. I've always loved birds. I always, I've always found them quite peaceful and quite relaxing to watch. So I set up my bird box outside of my window and I've had all kinds of birds over the years. Uh, I've had things like, well, I've had quite a few pigeons who were sort of looking for their lunch. But I've had every kind of bird you can imagine. I've had sparrows coming. I've had things like woodpeckers lots of finches, lots of different birds, and they all seem to love to fly up to the bird box and just have their own little feast and then they sort of fly off again. I actually sit next to my window, so I get a really good look at some of these amazing birds. We also have a goat willow tree in the garden, so some of the birds will come to either sit on the tree or they'll come to take various bits of the tree and sort of use it like material for their nest. So I get a, a really good view of a lot of different birds. Now, I noticed some cheeky pigeons were sort of flying up to the bird box and they were just sort of sitting there and just um, having their lunch and I kind of thought it was quite sweet but I also think that they're incredibly beautiful birds. Now wood pigeons are slightly different from the kind of pigeon you're likely to see on the street. Wood pigeons tend to prefer rural areas, for example. So you might um, hear a wood pigeon sort of making a sort of, um, you know, loud cooing noise in the morning or something. But I've always found the noise to be really relaxing, you know. Oh, pigeons have one area where they sleep and then they'll sort of go out exploring to find food. Your bog standard pigeon actually really loves sitting on cliffs. Human structures like buildings or bridges are absolutely perfect for them to live because it kind of reminds the pigeons of their cliffs. You might also notice that birds generally have a very good sense of balance and this pigeon certainly has, you know. I mean, I deliberately modified this uh, fairly cheap bird box so that it's got a nice area at the front so that the pigeon could just land on it and it could just uh, basically help itself without sort of feeling like it's going to fall down or anything. Now, I think this bird, if I put food out for it, the bird will come maybe like once or twice a day to kind of have his lunch. So, you know, it's a fairly easy life for this pigeon, I think. Again, I don't know whether this is a male or a female. If I had to guess, I think it would be a, a female. But again, I, I think for males and the females, the wood pigeons are quite beautiful. Also, this pigeon's, um, if it is the same pigeon each time, they're fairly tame. So, for example, I can actually watch the pigeon feeding and it'll just kind of sit there and continue. I find this really relaxing. I notice my heart rate dropping. Uh, I generally feel very relaxed watching this bird sort of have its feel. Now, the bird unhealthily turns around, so it's harder to see. You might notice we've got quite a lot of greenery in our garden. Well, this is uh, deliberate. It isn't just what we let things get overgrown. For a start, we get a lot of fruit and things off of the fruit bushes.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 